Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am back with a new video. In this video, I am going to talk about linkage, one of the most important topic. First, we should understand the meaning of the word genetics. So logically, genetics is nothing but the branch of biology which deals with the study of heredity and variation. So the heredity is purely taking place because of linkage and crossing over is responsible for variation. So, first we need to understand what do you mean by linkage. As the name suggests, linkage means something is linked. And when something is linked, it will be transferred as it is to the next generation. Means, the genes which are found on different chromosomes, they are not linked to each other. Because their distance is very far from each other. So, I can say those are unlinked genes. But the genes which are found on same chromosome, and the distance between the two genes is very less then I can say that they are called as linked gene. So logically whenever we talk about linked gene you need to understand the distance between the two genes should be very less. If the distance is very less it simply means that the chance for crossing over is also very less. Let us take these two as the gene. When you talk about gene look at the gene they are very much far away from each other. So we can say that the gene is located on same chromosome but the distance between the two genes the upper gene and the lower gene is large so we can say here the chance for crossing over is very high so we can say it is not at all linked genes so they are called as unlinked genes or even you can say it is non-linked gene but look at the same two genes when they are placed together very close to each other then it simply means that they are so much close to each other that there is no chance for crossing over so we can say that the genes on same chromosome but the distance is very small then we can say that these genes are called as linked genes so what we need to understand if there are two men walking and the distance between the two men is very large the gap is big so crossing over will take place so those two men are not linked but if they are very close to each other then we can say those are linked men let us assume that there are four different houses in each house let's say we are making six people so what we are going to do here in each house i will place one one so all these people in the four houses they are in separate house they are far from each other so i can say that they are not linked at all but if i place two men together so in this condition what we can say that these two men they are in the same house so we can say they are linked so the chance for crossing over between these two men is very very less so logically what we need to understand linkage is purely dependent on distance between the two gene if the distance between the two gene is very large chance for crossing over is very large and recombination is very large so we can say there is less linkage now here you can see as in the diagram there are two genes which i have drawn on the chromosome so let us take this to be the chromosome a and on the other side, lower side we can say let's take to be the gene b so what we need to understand here that these genes they are very much far from each other since they are far apart from each other the chance for crossing over is very very high in short these genes are not called as linked genes but here when you talk about the another chromosome the genes are very close to each other the chance for crossing over is very low so the linked genes will be purely decided by the distance between the two genes now when we talk about these all genes together they are not linked and here on this chromosome i can say that they are linked gene now how to understand the logic see we can say that the gene which cannot travel as a whole to the next generation they are called as non-linked or incompletely linked genes and one which can travel as a whole to the next generation they are called as linked gene in incomplete linkage there is more chance for recombination and less percentage of parent but in completely linked genes the chance for recombinant will be very less and parent will be very high now question comes here how many number of linked genes are there so the number of linked genes will be directly you can say to the number of haploid chromosomes when you talk about our human body we have 46 
chromosomes in short we can say 23 pairs of chromosomes so 23 is the haploid number so number of linked genes that is present in human is 23 so that is number of linkages these 23 linked genes will be always transferred as a whole to the next generation without any crossing over because they are very much close to each other when you talk about types of linkage we have two types complete linkage and we have incomplete linkage when i say complete and incomplete first we need to understand the chromosome if you all have studied the chromosomes has two areas one area is with respect to homologous region another area is with respect to non-homologous region so what we need to understand here these are all the genes which are very close to each other so the upper one is a complete linkage no chance for crossing over and the lower one is little bit far away from each other so it has a chance for crossing over what we need to understand here the percentage of recombinants in complete linkage will be very less and the percentage of recombinant in case of incomplete linkage will be very high because as crossing over is taking place so logically linkage is purely all about distance between the gene and the recombinants so linkage when we talk about the linked genes they do not assort independently if you have studied Mendel's law of independent assortment it is not widely accepted it was rejected because of the linkage Mendel studied on pea plant as a result the genes were very much far away from each other so there was no chance for you can say complete linkage as a result Mendel's law of independent assortment was not universally accepted but when we talk about unlinked gene it assorts independently so Mendel's pea plant assorted independently because the genes were not linked but this is true only with respect to Mendel's pea plant so we need to understand that independent genes can assort now let's try to understand the linkages there are two types of linkage one is called as complete sex linkage another one is called as incomplete sex linkage so when i say incomplete sex linked genes it simply means it is with respect to x and y chromosome first we should understand one thing that there are certain parts of the sex chromosome let us draw one x chromosome and one y chromosome so when we draw x and y chromosome we all know that the x chromosome is long and it is thick while the y chromosome is short and it is thin so we draw two areas one area will be having exactly same number of genes in the x and y chromosomes so this area is called as homologous region of the x and y chromosome and the one which different length and number of genes they are called as non-homologous chromosome one thing with respect to linkage we are supposed to keep it in mind that non-homologous chromosome will always have sex linked genes so the genes which are present on the homologous chromosome they are not linked because there is a chance for crossing over and in non-homologous region all the genes are linked so there is no chance for crossing over so what we should keep in mind non-homologous region will not go undergo crossing over whereas the homologous region will undergo crossing over so complete sex linked genes are located on non-homologous chromosomes and incomplete sex linked genes are located on homologous chromosome when you talk about complete sex linkage it can be color blindness it can be hemophilia the man who came up with the concept of linkage is T.H. Morgan. Thomas Hunt Morgan, he is regarded as the father of linkage. He worked on Drosophila, one of the fruit fly, and he came up with the lots of examples. And in these examples, he totally focused on the linkage. Now, we need to understand one very important fact, that is, when the genes are like let's take the example of these two chromosomes these two chromosomes they are called as homologous chromosomes in homologous chromosome the number of genes present on each of the chromosome will be exactly same that is the most important part the genes will be same but the alleles can be different so what we can say that the homologous chromosomes they have same gene but with different alleles now let's try to understand some other parts of the linkage what we need to think of here is that the linked genes they will be always inherited together but the genes which are not linked they will undergo crossing over 
so if crossing over takes place it produces more of the recombinant type and if the crossing over is absent it is going to produce more of the parental type of the genotype let's try to understand that there are two examples here with respect to the gene let's talk, I draw two chromosomes and what I do here I mark two genes let us take the first one as uh, the capital A and the capital B and the one is small a and small b on the same but just imagine the just look at the distance between the two genes in the first example where a and b they are capital a and capital b they are quite apart from each other but in the second example you can see that the capital a and capital b they are very close to each other so under both the conditions we have four different possibilities so look at the second example here we have a b and recombinant is a and the b this is again small a capital B and we have the parental a and B but we need to understand since the genes are very far from each other the percentage of recombinants will be very very high so for here time being I will take it as the percentage of recombinant to be 48 48 percent it means since the genes are very far from each other the percentage of recombinants produced will be very high so here I put it as example of 48 and 48 so remaining will be 6 percent 4 percent that becomes the parental 2 and 2 percent but when you look at this condition the genes are very close to each other since the genes are very close to each other the chances for recombination or the chances for crossing over is very rare therefore the recombinants produced will be also very less in percentage it can be 2 and 2 percent of recombinants whereas the 48 48 percent will become the parental type so this is what we need to understand the position and the distance between the gene will decide the linkage so we can say when the genes are far the recombinant percentage will be very high and the parental percentage will be very low but when the genes are very close to each other then we can say that the recombinant percentage will be very low as we have seen in the second example and the parental percentage will be very high there is one word called as linkage frequency linkage frequency means what is the frequency for the genes to be linked so what we say there is a formula to it it says that so first let's understand the one and two concept so the first is it says chances of crossing over is very high because genes are apart and in second case the chance for crossing over is very low because the genes are very close to each other now we need to understand the linkage frequency linkage frequency I can say it is inversely proportional to the distance between the gene or I can say that the linkage frequency is inversely proportional to the crossing over more the crossing over less will be the linkage frequency and less the crossing over more will be the linkage frequency so linkage frequency will be decided by distance between the gene one of the questions that comes in neat exam for solving numericals that is recombinant frequency what is recombinant frequency formula we can say it is total offspring recombinants upon the total number of offspring multiply by 100 so here what we are going to do we are going to count all the recombinants together and we are going to divide it by the recombinants as well as the parental type together multiplied by 100 we get the recombinant frequency distance between the two gene is measured as cm small c and capital m that is in respect to centi morgan thank you very much